Hey there, this is Jeff, and I just want to look at uh, Army UCX and what I've done. So the UCX has SPDIF ports, and it has um, EQs with uh, three nodes that you can control, parametric EQs with three nodes. And uh, uh, if you're maybe mixing a band in a bar where there's a lot of feedback, <clears throat> it can be not enough uh, to have only three things that you can notch. Maybe you want to notch in more places. So what I've done here is I've set up a microphone designed to feedback real bad for us. And uh, I have um, some speakers there and uh, it's a sensitive condenser mic. <coughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to route it to the speakers just straight up. And uh, I've just done a total reset on the uh, thing here. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to loop back channels 5 and 6 so that we can see it here. And I'm just going to raise this up here. And pretty quickly, you see that there? There's a rumble at 40. One of the things I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab the dynamics, turn on the dynamics, and I'm going to um, cr I'm gonna, uh, flatten the compressor and bring it down some. Uh, so that um, there's a maximum amount of loud like I don't have to worry about destroying my ears as I try to ring this out so if I go here the amount of noise in the room stays pretty steady so um, and the obvious thing to do here is to grab this EQ and uh, um, just trim that off and now when I raise it up I'm going to get feedback at a different point right so there we are 5,000 or so Okay, <clears throat> so uh, the problem here is that, like, let's say I have, you know, 16 channels all routed to these main outs. Uh, if I turn on this EQ and start notching, I've only got three spots that I can notch. However, if I route everything out to the SPDIF, which is physically looped back, right? So I just take a, what was like an old stereo component RCA plug plug it into one spit of port and then plug it into the other spit of port then <clears throat> this this track all right I'm gonna bring that down out to the spit if all the way it automatically starts coming in on the spit if right and then I route that here and I can I'm gonna do the same thing right now as I bring it up we're getting the same feedback we were getting before Right? So around a little less than 1,000. So um, <clears throat> if I go enable this EQ uh, and I find uh, here's a note at 1,000 and I notch it down and I uh, bring up the Q, uh, so I have a nice steep notch, and then I set the focus back on my mains and I raise this here my feedback point has moved up near eight. So one of the things that you can do too when you have a live band, when the band goes quiet, you often end up with feedback. So it's important to go to the dynamics, turn on the dynamics, and set your expander uh, to turn on about the place that when the band's rolling, um, it always is, and then steepen that. That'll help quiet feedback when no one is singing then you can push it right and there we have it at eight so we push this up to eight and then raise this up the Q and switch the type and now we have a notch and now we click on five and six and we can inch this up so all the while, it's getting slowly louder in the room without feeding back. When we get feedback, right, like here at a little over 315, like let's say we had used all these three nodes, we could then take this one, put it at 3.1 or something like that. Dink, 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 dink. Right, we have another one. We can push it up a little more. 
Um, so that's still, oh, the EQ's not on. There we go. Hello, check, check. So, um, and there we have around 125 and 500. See that? So we can take this one. Right? And now just 500. So we come here, we grab this green one maybe. Put it around 500. Right? And boom, it's all quiet again. Click on five and six, a little more, right? And we slowly inch it up. Right, so 1.6. So, um, and, and really you don't have to just, you don't have to go forever. Um, you just have to get wherever loud enough is uh, for your band. In this case, I'm not using a, I'm, I'm using a, this kind of microphone, uh, a small diaphragm condenser microphone, um, just to create crazy feedback on purpose. Uh, and I'm just showing you uh, some basic techniques to try to uh, cut feedback. But in this way, I've already got, I've already got five notches, but I could add four more still um, basically at what is going to be the, the mains, right? So um, all of my tracks would be routed to the SPDIF output, which would loop back to the SPDIF input, and then would be sent to this uh, analog output, which would go to the mains. So I have three levels of EQ and three levels of dynamics um, where I could control the mix as much as I like. Um, uh, without being limited uh, to um, a single uh, uh, three-point equalizer or three-band um, equalizer. I uh, hope that was useful. Um, trying to think what else might uh, I might point out. The latency that this adds is really, really tiny. It differs to ba based on the sample rate. So if your if your sample rate is 44.1, it is 0 .000068 uh, seconds of latency. It's three samples worth um, on, from input to output. So because this goes to input to output to the spit if out, and then from the spit if in to the analog out, it doubles that. So um, it is 0013 uh, roughly um, seconds of 0013 seconds of latency. So six samples of latency. At, at 192, it is 0000 three seconds of latency. Uh, so it's really, really low latency. Yeah, like you can't tell. Um, the, the more latency comes from the speakers to your ears. Um, hope I was helpful. Uh, trying to think of anything else. Like and subscribe. Uh, hope you have a good day. Thank you for listening.